This demonstration uses iGraphics simulation to increase customer satisfaction of a company partner support call center. iGraphics simulation is a feature of iGraphics process and iGraphics process for Six Sigma. Within the company, recent new products have dramatically increased partner business and boosted partner call volume. The additional calls are causing long wait times to reach company representatives and decreasing partner satisfaction. The goal is to reduce abandoned or renewed calls to within industry norms of 5% at the lowest possible cost. In a separate demonstration, I mapped the partner support call center process. Now, I'll check out the model from the Process Central repository for analysis. Partner support contains two departments, the helpline and account manager staff. Partner incoming calls receive an automatic greeting. Callers already working with an account manager are routed appropriately. Otherwise, callers are forwarded to a helpline representative. Partners discuss their issue, and the resolution is recorded and sent back to the partner via email. If callers wait too long to reach a helpline representative, they hang up. If callers can't reach their account manager, they have the option of leaving a message. To perform simulation and what-if analysis, I must enter data describing each step in detail. I right-click and choose Properties to enter the model data. I know that 15% of callers route directly to an account manager. If that changes, I simply enter the value here and click OK. The optional Process Map field is automatically updated. I can undo this to return it to the original value. If I don't want a field on the diagram, I simply double-click the field and delete it for the shape. I'll undo this change as well. Removing fields does not remove the underlying data. The Discuss Issue activity is where helpline representatives talk to callers. The process guide shows that this activity takes between four and seven minutes per call and requires one worker to perform. The process guide makes modeling simple iGraphics, however, also models advanced concepts, such as timers used to model reneging. Company statistics show that callers hang up if they must wait between 20 and 40 seconds. I use the normal bell curve distribution, but there are dozens of other functions available. The timer routes calls to the call abandoned step. The graphic is inserted automatically by iGraphics when the timer is drawn. Clicking the resources icon displays the workers available to perform activities. I define three workers per department, their hourly rate, and schedule for each pool of workers. Later in this demonstration, I'll do some what if analysis with the worker levels. Okay, we've reviewed several of the activities and the resources used to handle partner calls. Before running a simulation, I need to review the rate of incoming calls. This is done by clicking the generators icon. I know from experience that the partner support line receives a call every one to two minutes. If the incoming call rate follows a different pattern, then there are methods for modeling that also with a demand, event, timetable, or attribute change generator. In the timetable generator, for example, I can use a graphic interface to describe the rate of the incoming calls, perhaps with peaks and valleys during the day. The lightning bolt on the start shape identifies where calls enter the process. The Properties tab is where the start point is specified. The Run Setup dialog box 
defines the length of real lifetime I want to simulate. In this case, one month. Optional monitors collect simulation data to assist in my analysis. For example, the Renig at Helpline monitor tracks the number of calls that are abandoned at the Helpline department. I'm now ready to analyze the process by running simulation experiments. Before running what-if experiments, I validate the as-is model to verify that the model is a good representation of the real-life process. To begin a simulation, I click the Start button. The month of real time is simulated in a few seconds and a report is displayed. The simulation report is divided into time, cost, resource, queue, and custom tabs. Additional report elements are easily added with the add element command. To customize any of the report elements, simply double click and choose the information that you desire to display. I'll undo that last change. In the accounts report element, I can see the number of calls taken and how they were resolved or abandoned. I'll compare this data with real life data and if there's a discrepancy, I'll review the model for accuracy. My goal is to increase partner satisfaction by reducing the number of abandoned calls. Currently, over 1,400 calls per month are abandoned. This 18% abandon rate is unacceptable. The helpline representatives are highly utilized at over 80% utilization. It seems that another worker is needed. But instead of testing this theory by hiring an additional helpline representative, I use the model to analyze the impact another worker will make. In the Define Resources dialog box, I'll increase the number of workers in the helpline pool from three to four. I'll also change the Run Setup dialog to append my new simulation results to the previous results for side-by-side -side comparison. For my first what-if experiment, I'll use the trace command to get an animated view of transactions flowing through the process. In this case, as calls move from step to step, the shape changes color. Blue indicates a call being worked on. Yellow, for example, indicates a call waiting for a resource. The numbers that are displayed at some activities are how many transactions are at that particular activity. The trace command can be controlled by pausing, stepping through, and also viewing individual transactions in the trace window. The simulation can continue in the trace view to completion, or we can stop the trace view and simulate without trace to complete more quickly. Adding another worker dramatically reduced the number of abandoned calls from over 1,400 to 235, and the abandoned rate is down to 3%. This reduction, however, comes at a price. My total worker cost has risen from $46,000 to $51,000. Perhaps there's a more effective way to reduce abandoned calls without raising costs. A colleague suggests improving the process by using the company automatic call routing system. The system lets callers categorize their issue before talking to a representative. Without making any real life changes to the process, again, I'll test this idea with the model. First, I return the number of helpline workers from four to three. My company repository already contains a process model of the call routing system. I'll share and reuse this subprocess in my model. The subprocess describes the steps callers take to qualify their call. Any calls with account manager issues are flagged by a transaction attribute during the simulation. I can view this by double, double clicking this shape. Alternatively, I can use the tabular view to see modeling data associated with activities. A link to the shared subprocess from the first decision step. 
and specify it as a subprocess link to the auto route system. In addition, when calls return from the subprocess, they'll branch according to the value of the attribute called account issue. The shape is now shaded, showing that it is a link to a subprocess. I'm ready to run my next what if experiment and third simulation. Looking at the results, I can see that I've reached my goal of a 5% abandon rate, while at the same time, my worker costs are almost the same as their original amount. Of the two scenarios I examined, the auto qualification system appears to be the best alternative to reach my abandoned calls rate goal of 5% at the lowest cost. Process Central is sold separately from the iGraphics authoring tools. Thank you very much for watching this iGraphics simulation demonstration.